Hello traders, I'm Jason from ShishitFX. Today I have got another forecast about GBUSD for the upcoming week. But before we look ahead, let's quickly talk about what happened last week with GBUSD market. We'll discuss how the market moved and where it might go. Next, we'll start our analysis with the current market structure of GBUSD on the 4-hour chart. It's because that market is expanded heavily on lower time frames, so it's better to look the point of interest on high time frame like 4 hour. So if we look at 4 hour time frame, we can clearly see that market is still in a bullish phase, creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. Last week, we also saw a expansion on the price and there is no deeper retracement or short term pullback on this market. And after this liquidity slipped, we saw last Friday that market expanded once again and as this is Monday, market is retracing a little bit to mitigate probably this order block and after that it might go look for this old swing high liquidity. So if we hide our drawings and go to the daily time frame, then what can we see in the market? We can clearly see that there are a couple of swing highs on daily time frame which may get taken out and there is a slightly imbalance price at this point and we can look for this order block to target. So which means that market has still some possibilities to go higher, take out this swing highs as liquidity and probably mitigate this order block and then give us some retracement. But there is also a swing high at this point as well and there is imbalance at this point as well. So we don't know when the bearish movement will happen. So going back to our 4 hour chart and get our drawings back, it's pretty clear that we'll be looking for long setups until this old swing high liquidity point is taken out or we get some sort of reaction from the daily point of interest like those imbalanced order blocks. But if price does something like this that it breaks this old swing which is a strong swing point on 4 hour time frame then we can expect some retracement and look for short setups. But until that happens we'll be bullish on GBSG market. So let's summarize the forecast for you once again. GBPSD bias is potentially bullish this week. The bullish momentum is still continuous on GBPSD this week as well and may continue next week. With the weekly or swing liquidity in mind, we'll look for long setups on lower time frame confluences. Something like this, let's say market pull back to this order block or check out this liquidity point or even get to this order block then on lower time frame like 1 hour time frame we will look for price action like this. Let's say market created equal low liquidity and after the sweep of liquidity we will be looking for change of character at this point and our entries will be from this discounted demand zone that caused the break of structure and that swept the liquidity and we will be looking for buy areas like this and target the swing points. So from what I see in the charts, I think GBSD might keep going up this week as well. We'll see what happens in the market in the next few days. It's always important to consider multiple viewpoints when making trading decisions. Remember, forex trading carries risk, so staying informed and managing your risks wisely is the key. That's all for our GBSD forecast for this week. Make sure to subscribe to SureShotFX for more helpful information about Forex. I wish you all successful trades. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in our next video.